Hey everybody, welcome. It is Tuesday and man, I just love doing these Instagram live for you guys. So let's keep them going. So today let's do a story time. Man, I haven't done a story in a while, so I owe you guys a story. And here is today's story. It is about uh, what happened these past couple days. What up, K-Fake? Hey, Janed. No, so nice to see you. Uh, so uh, the story today is about uh, the photo shoot that happened on uh, this weekend with my girlfriend. It was, it was so amazing and everything that came out was just so like, it was so freaking awesome. I didn't even know we could do it, but we just implemented it and we did it and ugh, it came out so great. So I'm going to just give you guys a little bit of the backstory behind it. So it was Sunday and we were just chilling, uh, thinking about what we could do and we were thinking about going bowling. We were thinking about, oh, thank you. We were thinking about going bowling. We were going to go up to a sh champagne and just uh, have a, like, you know, a good good time and then we had like a few hours to kill and we we're like what should we do and then she, she was like we could go do a photo shoot like we've always talked about and she's been begging me she has been nagging at me to do these photo shoots and we just haven't done it because i've been so busy with my work and it's just like so hard finding the time to do it and now like sunday we f we had a couple hours so you know what we just we just did it and uh we just wanted to, uh, and the whole point of it all was to just get the experience. Like, it wasn't even, like, supposed to be this good thing or, like, we didn't expect very much. We kept our standards very low with this. We just wanted to see if we could, you know, make something work with, like, it was just us two, right? So, anyways, uh, so we went to the local park and we started, uh, <laughs> And it's funny, and it's funny because, uh, actually, I just want to go back to this is because, like, the reason why we did it is because, or I did it, is because this is her dream, and this is something she's always wanted to do. We just never had the time to do it until now. So, for me, I was like, wow, she's, she's helped me out so much with my funnel. She's helped me so much out with my business and my dreams. It's finally my turn to give back. And that is, and that made me feel so good about myself. So going into it, I just wanted to do my absolute best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Man, that means so much. So I just wanted to give her my best, like my absolute best. So we went to the park and we didn't really know what to do. So we we're like, you know what? Let's just let's just go against this tree and just start shooting here. <laughs> and I, this is what I did. I'm like, all right like mod like it's time to model right it's time it's time to get in the zone let's model and this is what i did i was just like up against the tree like right here i was just like that's it that's it it was just like a like senior photos it was that bad and she was like come on just give me like something a little more and i was like all right cool instead of this i was like and she was like stop 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 i was like what i was like what i'm just trying to work with you and she <laughs> Oh my god, it was so funny. She was like, she was like, I watch America's Knox Top model and not one model ever does this. Never. Not one ever. That's not that's not a pose. Doing like this is not a pose. Like it's <laughs> I had to find out the hard way is garbage. It was so bad. <laughs> it was oh, it was so funny. So we that so that's how we started. And she, and then she was like being so good with directing. She's like, okay, now let's try to get you, let's try to get you uh, even better. Like, let's try to make you, you know, start posing, doing other stuff. So we went to a different spot and kind of uh, leaned up against this little uh, bench thing. And uh, I started sitting on there trying to do some stuff. And she was like coaching me at this point. She was like, D like, D don't be so loose. Don't be so like, like this, be like up, have your neck high keep like stay like don't be stiff just be like relaxed have fun with it just be you just i like, just act like you're just chilling and doing that and i just kept doing it and just started doing stuff and we got a few couple like it got better it got better because i was just like trying to take in what she was saying and and it was so and i was like getting a little better but not like quite what we wanted and I, and she was telling me all this stuff, you know, try and coach me, try and get that right shot. And 
I was just so annoyed at one point because I was just like, oh, I'm trying my best, girl. Like, I'm trying my best. I just want to make you happy. I want to make this dream for you come true as much as I possibly can. I'm just trying to do what you want to do. And it's not working. And I, I got annoyed at one point, And then I had this like a little epiphany. I like I had this mind switch. I was like, I need to look at this different. Obviously, I'm not doing what she wants me to do. And I just need to be coachable. I just need to start doing exactly what she says. Stop thinking about what I'm thinking because obviously she knows more about this than I do. I'm just going to take all my ego out of it, take all my like what my mind my own mindset out of it and just put just try to be the best version of her mind as possible. Like she was like it was just like she was wanting me to do this and I was trying to do something else with my own little twist on it and it's that's not it I just was like I made I stopped that mindset I was like you know what I'm just going to do what she says that's it that's it and then that's whenever boom my mindset switched and I had this I started being coachable for her and that's whenever it really took off we we went to this uh we went to this train uh, that you guys saw in uh, some of the photos. I have some of them here that I'm going to show you later, which they're so great. And we were, I buy this train and we, sh she kept coaching me. And we kept getting a little better and better because my mindset was switching. And we just kept going, going, going a little better, a little better, a little better. And then she said this one thing <laughs> that's very stuck with me very well. She said, okay, try to act like you're selling the jacket. That's it. She said, act like you're selling the jacket that you're wearing or that you're wearing. Like that is the product you're trying to sell. And then boom, it clicked for me. I was like, oh shit. Yeah. All right. So I was just like, bam. I was like, bam, a little over here. And just like trying to like stunt the jacket as much as I could. Try to make the jacket look so good. And it turned out I made the jacket look good. It was so amazing. And that's whenever she was like, oh, yes, that's it. Right there. Boom, boom, boom. She was just going at it like an animal. She's like, boom. Oh, yeah, that's it, Ricky. Yeah, there you go. Ooh, that worked. That jacket saying worked. And she just kept going. Oh, it was so awesome. That's when stuff started getting really fun. So, man, it was just that. And, man, it was just such a great time doing that. And because I've never done stuff like that and she's never really fully immersed herself into something like that so we both got to share this thing new and together and it was part of her dream so and that's what really really set me off and really made me feel so good about the whole thing man it was just such a great experience and after that mindset change man after that mindset change of being trying to just be myself and just do this and that I switched my mind to be coachable. And that's what really made the gear start moving, right? So, man, it's all mindset right here. And that's what we have to do in business to take the focus off yourself and onto the service or offer a great story. Thank you, Jeanette. Yes, you understand. Absolutely. Yes, that is exactly it, guys. That's exactly it. So, it and this all, yeah, it goes back to business because of that way. You just got to get out of your own head and start doing what they want most. And that was just, that's the big little lesson I learned just from Sunday doing that. And at the end of the day, it was so great that we made something amazing. And here's some of the photos. She actually just got them done today and just got them uh, in the photos like this. Boom. Oh my. So it's so cool. We got a little more over here. She got three done. And we got printed, framed, everything. Oh, so cool. And then this one is the last one that she got done. It's actually going to hang up in my little office back here. That one. Oh, oh so good. It was so freaking good. So I just wanted to say... I just want to say, th like, thank you to my girlfriend. I know you're on here. Uh, watching this even though you're just like in the other room but like I just want to say thank you for letting us share a new experience and letting me help you 
uh, become like create your dream and create and start your uh start the dream that you've always wanted. Start that <laughs> you now have this little goal that you want to get to, and she just started her epiphany and just started her uh her story, her little pathway to get there. And she's got a long road, but it's going to be so much fun. And she's going to love it. I know she is because we, she literally cannot sleep anymore. She's, <laughs> it's so funny. She was, she will be up at like 2 a.m. And she's like, Rick, I can't sleep. And she start telling me about photo idea, uh, photo shoot ideas and all this stuff. And it's just like, yes, yes, Janae, you can hire her. Yes, yes, you can. I will, I'll actually give her, uh, give her information to you after this. Thank you for asking. And, uh, so yes, it was just like, so great that I can help her start her dream, start her journey. And it's now it's just like taking off because after we started posting it that day, she has like, has like eight or not nine people already contacting her asking for shoots already. It's insane. Like she was just like, so, and before it, she was so like, she just didn't think she was that good. She's like, eh, I don't know. Like, I don't know if my work's going to be good. And now that she has like eight or nine people already, like, just like, Kaylee, Kaylee, I want to do photo shoots. <laughs> That's how it is. And then now like, boom, she had that little epiphany. She's like, oh my God, I believe I can do it. Woo, I can do it. Ugh. And now there's no going back for her. Like, even if I try railing her in, no, not a freaking chance. And I would never do that because... That's what she loves most, and that is her dream. And uh, it's just so great helping people start their dream or become like a great asset in their dream because that's, uh, I love that. I just love that so much that I have the uh, opportunity to do that for her. So uh, thank you guys for all staying on. I hope you guys like my story. And I will be posting more of the shoots on Instagram because she only edited like five on the first day. Hey, no, what's up? Uh, so she edited five on the first day, I believe. And we have like, it's like 20 maybe, like 10 to 20 really good ones. And uh, we, I'll be uh, dripping, drip feeding those to you guys later on this week. And uh, if you guys, if you guys really do like her work, either comment to me or I can, or I'll share her link. And I just want, I just want to help her as much as I can. I want to help you guys too. So if any, so if anybody has any questions, ask me and if, and if I'll just send her, I'll just send her information right to you so you can get started and get what you need done because she's, because she's starting this new and she's doing this for free right now for free. So and she loves it. She like she doesn't even want to be paid right now. She just wants to do, build uh build a bunch of uh build a bunch of people to start shooting with. And that that's so amazing. She's not in it for the money. She's just she just wants to do it because she loves doing it. And everybody's got to have that passion about what they want to do in life. And that's just so freaking cool to see. So thank you guys for staying on. Thank you for listening to my story. Uh, if you liked it, throw a little heart in there. If you didn't like it, uh, just throw a thumbs down or you suck Rick or something like that. Please, like any feedback is good and it all helps me no matter what. So thank you all for watching and I will do this tomorrow. <laughs> Man, it's already, tomorrow is, tomorrow's Wednesday, halfway through the week. Man, ah. Uh keep going. Thank you. You suck, Rick. That's what I'm needing to hear, Cam. Yes. Thank you. I love your feedback. That's what I'm needing. That's what I'm talking about. Guys, be more like Cam. Tell me I suck. I need it, guys. I need it. Oh, <laughs> uh, you guys are so great. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.